Philippines, so we can't show you his face, but his accused, he is accused, that is, in a string of violent carjackings throughout the area. However, his terrified victims were able to see him in court today, and only on 12 News, Colleen Henry explains how he was stopped by his last would-be victim. His mom wheeled the 15-year-old into court to face the woman who may have paralyzed him for life. I get angry because I keep reliving the incident. Um, every day. Six weeks ago, Victoria Davison had just pulled in from the gym when a robbery crew threw her to the ground, demanded her keys, and threatened to shoot. Well, with the cannon was their exact words, and that was when I thought, oh my gosh, I need to do something, and that's when I got my firearm. The concealed carry permit holder fired one shot that hit the 15-year-old. His crew members took off without him. The other room here uh, where the bullet came out. Just two days earlier, prosecutors say the teen shot Claudier Motley in town for his high school reunion. Three inches up, three inches down, and it could have been a total different situation. Motley and Davison attended the court hearing to say they live in fear because the 15 year old is not in jail but at home with his parents because the state has no medical facilities to treat him. The case will be back in court at the end of the month to determine if the teen will stay here at Children's Court or be tried as an adult and if he'll enter a plea. Motley and Davison will again push to have the boy put in state custody. I think you're like a travesty of justice. If they don't have a facility here that can take care of his medical condition, then they need to ship him off like they would do anybody else. I think they're using that as a crutch. The judge noted it's very rare to have a child in a wheelchair facing four felony charges. He ordered the state to step up monitoring. At Children's Court, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. If convicted in children's court, the teen could face a maximum of five years. In adult court, he could face decades in prison.